So I thought today would be appropriate to uh, start a video with me doing a selfie, which is a little unusual. So today we're at See You Selfie, Selfie Later in Ybor City. And they do events here, have parties, and you can do all kinds of selfies. Right now uh, the rooms are bare. They had a lot of really cool stuff up here that they took down because they're changing over to different themes. But they want a new floor in here. So this building was built in the 40s. So there's definitely a lot going on with these floors as you can see. I'm sure there's been a lot of businesses in here throughout the years. Different things done to the floor. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grind off all this coatings, previous coatings. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try to get this floor as flat as possible, as pretty as possible, down to the concrete. And then we're going to do an off-white flat epoxy. And we're going to put it in the metallic highlights along the way. And part of doing the metallic highlights is to break up your eye when you see the floor. So we're doing this main section here, shape of a big T. And we're going to do this office as well. There's actually a coating on this floor as well. And there's Lauren. Okay, so here we are. We have our first grind done, which is really removing the various top coats that are on this floor. And as you can see, it comes off in chips. That's a good thing. You like when that happens? We want it just to chip off. As you can see, we're down to concrete now. And this is where things get crazy. Once you get all those coatings off, you can actually see what the floor is looking like. And there are, in fact, a bunch of patches. A lot of stuff that's uneven that we're going to have to smooth out. So yesterday we ground with the PCDs, which scraped the surface off. as a trailing diamond, which then smooths it out a little bit. And this is what we get, which is good. That's the way it looks. Now today we switch back over to diamonds. Actual grinding diamonds, and now we're gonna grind this floor and we're going to profile it to accept the epoxy. So this is the beginning of day four. As you can see, the job is completely prepped out. All that coatings are gone. It's profiled for epoxy. We have wide open floors, very neat edges. So what we did over here was, because there was a, three different floors over here almost, you know, different patches, etc., different times, overlayments, we just floated out the whole area as epoxy. This was a pretty significant crack that's been repaired. Ground back down. So, same thing over here, as you can see. There's a lot going on underneath that black stuff. 
So what we did was we just floated a floor, let the epoxy self level, and then when we put in our floor today, the floor is actually going to go in today. We'll have a nice surface to work with. Okay, so we have our floor in today. It's cured. We're going to apply the top coat today with an anti-skid in it. So this job was about 1850 square feet all in. It's a very old floor, a lot of repairs and whatnot have been done over the years. Definitely opened the space up. Now this is not a true metallic floor, it's a flat floor with a metallic highlight. So the floor is off-white and the highlight is slate, which is about a medium gray. Okay, so here's our final gel. We have top coat on, which is the urethane. Urethan. It has an anti skid in it. I don't want to walk on the back part just because it's a little bit wet with the urethane or a little bit cured I should say. This is the job. This is down at Sophie yourself. Selfie yourself?